This morning, we're continuing our coverage of local candidates running for office. We're looking at the race for the Montana House of Representatives, District 24, which covers neighborhoods east of 9th Street South in Great Falls to 57th Street South. Just under 9,800 people live in this area, according to Ballotpedia. Democrat Barbara Bassett currently represents the district. She won the seat in 2018 and is running again for re-election. Bassett works in public health and is a substance use prevention specialist. MTN News asked the incumbent representative what she thought of the state's official coronavirus response. Bassett said she was thankful for the governor's swift response in March to the virus with an emergency order before the state's confirmed case. Then schools shut down after our first confirmed case, which she believes helped to slow the spread. Taking the necessary precautions while also trying to open up slowly because we also know that this is going to have effect on not just our economy, but on our mental health, um, suicide rates and those kind of things. And um, he's been listening to the public health officials and really following science to try to keep Montana healthy. And so I'm very thankful that we live in this state and that we have his leadership and that he's listening to those who know best. Meanwhile, Republican Stephen Galloway is a businessman in Great Falls. He's married to House District 22 incumbent Lola, Shulding, uh, Lola Sheldon Galloway. The two have 14 grandchildren. Galloway told MTN News he preferred South Dakota's approach to the coronavirus over Governor Bullock's, saying there were fewer interruptions in our neighboring state. The Republican said he was disappointed that Montanans have seen very little of the $1.25 billion in COVID relief given to the state. Galloway also said he feels the virus has become a feared topic, even though many have made full recoveries, including his 87-year-old aunt and uncle. But for the most part, it doesn't seem to have catastrophic effect on healthy folks. So sometimes I, I, I just not sure, uh, you know, kids being out of school, all the interruption in our businesses has, has been worth the cost of, you know, the depression that's caused um, people, businesses being wiped out, livelihoods. And, I, I, you know, some of them are probably never going to get back. And we'll have both candidates' full responses to a number of questions on our websites. MTN News will continue covering local house contests as we near November 3rd.